All right, today I wanted to cover quickly communication. It's one of the things that I talk about the most. And I think when it comes to communication, sometimes we're better at it in different environments. So on a personal note, I am a great communicator at work. I think I have a very specific brand that is certainly a part of me. It's incredibly authentic, um, very direct, but grace driven. And I think personally, it changes quite a bit. Uh, when it's familial communication and family members are involved, it's not always the best because emotions get involved. And I've always said this, I even wrote this in the book, that if someone is communicating with me about my kids in a negative way, I oftentimes throw any emotional intelligence that I have purposefully out the window um, and have a hard time at times communicating on that level. So I try to take what I do extraordinarily well at work and try to adapt that to my style of communication personally so that they gel and mesh and I'm the same person. So the goal is to have a cohesive personal brand that's the same everywhere you go, but you're intentionally showing different pieces of yourself for different reasons in different environments. But there are some things that are really consistent um, and they need to stay consistent. And in the book, um, uh, it's great into to 2024, start of a new year, to ask yourself a couple of questions in terms of leveling up your leadership, which obviously helps with your communication. Um, the first question is, do you lead with love or fear? This is page 199 if you have the book. Do you speak from experience or are you somebody who has an opinion about everything and just decides to throw that into a conversation um, yet you don't have any experience, yikes. Um, do you treat everyone with the same respect, whether or not they work on your floor, different floor, um, have the same position, don't, are new to work or not? Is everybody treated with the same respect on a human level at work? Um, ask yourself this, would people jump into a foxhole with you? Um, I can tell pretty quickly if I want somebody in my foxhole, um, those first impressions in less than two seconds really count. And the next thing is, do people trust you? Um, so if you're leveling up your leadership, you need to ask yourself, do people trust you? Are you the kind of person that gossips all the time, um, doesn't care what other people think when you gossip? Uh, for instance, let's say you're at work and you're like, I'm so inclusive, I want everybody to feel included in things and be friends. Um, I want to lead a team with love. And then all of a sudden you're leaving people out and it looks like that you intentionally are and there isn't any candor there or transparency and why other people were invited, some were not, et cetera. Um, communicating that is really important and being open and honest about it is because if you say you're one thing and then you act like another, trust very qu quickly goes out the window. A few other questions to ask yourself, can people depend on you? Do you say what you do? What are you known for? It's really important. If uh, Ask people, if I had 10 minutes to do a TED Talk, what do you think the TED Talk would be about? Um, why do people come to you? What's the fire that you can put out? Do you know other people's goals? Do you care enough to ask other people what their goals are? Are you the one who's always talking? Do you deliver truth with grace? So important. If you don't start, people listen. They don't care about them. So people trust people. If I come into a new position or I'm a consultant, so I'm in new companies all the time, um, I don't immediately start throwing things at people to do or to say or um, assuming that I know. I try to get brand equity and I try to develop a relationship. I trust you, you trust me. And hopefully that develops into your listen to my feedback based upon experience so that you trust me and you know that I care. Um, that's as simple as knowing someone's why and caring about what their goals are personally, professionally, uh, both, because it's important to know someone as a whole human being as the leader. Um, the next one, are you open to feedback? I'll leave the, leave it on this for the year if you're leveling up your leadership. There's a whole chapter on this. I'd love to share it with you. But are you open to feedback? The worst type of brand is one that isn't coachable. Are you always talking? Do you always have the answer? Are you talking over people? Um, do you think that you know more than somebody else? If you're not coachable, your brand is dead in the water. So think about that for this year.